Hello and welcome to a hopefully rather short video showcasing the two new aircraft that form the beginning of the Flying Circus release by the IL-2 Stimovic team. As you can see on the screen here, this is the Fokker DR1. I'm going to quickly go to the quick mission options and we'll have a fly. I'll set up so that there are six friendly Fokkers and six enemy SPAD 13s. They are the only two aircraft that are available right at this minute, the SPAD 13 on the Allied side and the Fokker DR1 for the Germans. There is apparently a Verdun map which will be part of Flying Circus but that does not appear to be showing on my game just yet so I think we have to wait a little more for the Verdun map. I'll go with uh, external views on so we can see what's happening if we want to. Checking the setup options for the Fokker, we have uh, fuel up to 100 litres. I'll go with about half load here. Don't need much. Ammunition types, there are two at the moment. And uh, we can basically go with a 500 or 1,000 rounds. There are a couple of collimators at standard gun sight, which I'll take and a couple of other instruments which I will not take just now. As far as liveries go, there are three. A default one, this is this sort of tannish coloured pattern. There is the Greim from Robert Greim. He's from Jaster 34. And then there is the Lothar von Richthofen aircraft. I'll take the Greim one. I like these orange stripes. Pilot handgun. You can take a number of weapons here. We'll go with the Luger pilot scarf. You can select a colored scarf and a colored ribbon to fly from the airplane. Let's take a green streamer here and we'll jump in. Now the DR1, it uh, is quite maneuverable, a little bit slower than the SPAD, but it has quite good visibility as we'll see. When we look at the SPAD, you'll see how terrible the visibility is on that aircraft. Okay, now, you need rudder when you turn in this aeroplane. You can't just roll, you need quite a lot of rudder. So you've got to coordinate rudder and... rudder and aileron much more than you do in a World War II sim. Try and get a few shots off on this guy and then go left. And it's a lot harder to turn these aeroplanes. You've got to put in about, I've probably got in about 5% rudder there to assist with the turn. There's a spad diving away to my left, so I'm going to chase after him. In fact, I'm going to change onto this guy. And you almost need to be pushing the nose forward the whole time because the aircraft have no trim. Oof. Okay, we'll see where this guy goes. He's going to change his heading. Going left. Catching him in the turn. Couple of hits on him there, I think. Yeah, spraying him just a fraction. Not enough deflection. Lots of left eight. Lots of left rudder required here. You can see he's taken quite a beating. Okay, I'm going to try and speed up and get behind him now. I'm hitting him a lot here. I think he's getting unstable. Okay, I'm out of ammo. So I hit that guy a lot. But uh, don't appear to have done any real damage to him. And that's me done for. Out of ammunition and having to leave the fight. So a quick look at this aeroplane. It's pretty responsive. Much more responsive than the World War II machines I'm used to flying. You can rip it round in a roll with elevator and aileron. And as you can see, I'm constantly fighting to keep that nose in position. I've got about 50% forward stick at the moment. 
to see how much forward stick is required just to keep that nose from climbing. A lot of it. As I said, visibility is pretty decent out, out of this thing. And um, despite the fact that that spad absorbed a lot of ammunition, I think this would be a fun aeroplane to fly. Let's have a look at the spad now. So we've changed over. Spad's on our side. Focus on theirs. We'll do the check the customization options. And as you can see here, we've got uh, the same again for fuel. So we've got about half fuel. Gun convergence is nice and short. Modifications. There are a couple of these um, collimator, there's a collimator site and um, I don't really like those because they're long thin kind of um, binocular or telescope things, they're very difficult to use. So bo a bomb and uh, lights and a balloon gun etc etc. I'm just going to stick with the default 800 rounds and no mods. Liveries, we've got a Fonk which is quite nice, it's got this blue nose, I'm going to use that. Their slide which is uh, red stripes and the Rackenbacker which I believe is an American skin. And we have, of course, the, cho the same choice of uh, revolver, a scarf, and a streamer. Let's go with a blue streamer. Here we are then. Now, first thing you can do is look at the view. It's shocking. It's really tiny, the amount of view we have available in this aeroplane. Those guys are turning. Is this guy going to correct and come at me? He is, isn't he? Oh! Wow, they turn so nicely. Now, I've got one underneath me. I'm going to try and follow him around. Keep my eyes on him. And he's going to disappear below the wing now. And then I've got to hope that he pops out there. Oh, some lovely hits there. Got one on my six here, so let's keep climbing and turning. And he shouldn't be able to follow me in this climb. He will outturn me, but he won't outclimb me. Okay, he's dropping away, so let's keep him above the wing there. He's going over. Still got to keep him above that wing until I want to attack him. Because you can't see a thing, okay? I want to attack him now. Pull the nose into position. Where's he gone? Oh, lucky I can still see him. Okay, too low the shots. Some hits, some more hits. And now he's out of sight. And where is he? Behind me, I think. No, that's a spad. So I've lost sight of him. What's this thing in front of me here? What is that? That's a Fokker. Okay, let's try and turn. Clearing six, nothing behind me. Okay, so as long as he's on top of the wing, I'm okay. But as soon as I start overhauling him, I kind of have to go wings level to still see him. He's going to be on my six shortly. But he's a bit slow. But so am I. Okay, he's just stalled out. So, keep him above the wing. And I'm going to lose sight of him here. Aren't I? Yep. Okay, let's see if I can catch him as he's running down the hill. Here we go. Closing. Oh, that was a lovely pass. I think I managed to uh, make him stall there, and he may, in fact, have had it. Nope. Oh yeah, I think I've, I think I've damaged him irreparably. Yeah, he's trying to turn but he keeps flicking it out and he's going to go in I believe, poor bugger. It takes them forever to fall out the sky. There's my ribbon. Come on mate, in you go. This is the slowest collapse of an aeroplane into the ground I think I've ever seen. And thud. So no explosions, just thud. <laughs> ah, classic. Okay. So the main problem with this aircraft is that visibility issue. You cannot fight the aeroplane 
um, like this. You have to sit back and keep the enemy up there, and then as soon as you're ready to shoot, then you have to pull the, um, the nose and have a shot and hope you hit him. But like I said, I think it's a little bit quicker than the Fokker. Certainly against these AI, it, it appears to be um, a good option. But I have no idea how these aircraft will compare when humans are flying both of them. I'm sure that's going to be an entirely different situation. There we go. That was, as I promised, a very quick look. External view here for those who want it. Lovely stuff. Flying Circus, the first two aircraft are out. And hopefully coming to a YouTube channel near you.